to here the power of Kazakhstan. Today I bring you some rush on Wake Island and this map I call it 10 out of 10 I even on girl standards this is 10 out of 10 uh, if I compare it to the girl I'll say it 10 out of 10 model really hot really sexy nice ass nice boobs and uh, ni nice nice overall just she she's just like a bomb you know and that's how I compare this map to and you know on this map I just like to flank around so I can get behind and uh, yeah and kill some people and get in into the hot model that I was talking about you know talk to her and uh, after that I can do stuff to her you know you know what I'm talking about usual routine nah I'm just kidding but anyways uh, like uh, recently I was playing like some games primarily like World of War because I was kind of bored with Battlefield 3 and man there's so much hackers I mean why would you want to hack I mean that's just ridiculous I sometimes never understand people like hacks makes you worse I mean I remember <laughs> I used hacks when I was like eight years old and uh, af like after uh, I became like like it said it was just too easy I just dropped it like I used it on Counter Strike and on PC man hacks are really easy like to get you just download the program run it down uh, run the game and there you go you have the freaking hacks then you have to press the button to use it uh, how I remember because I, I, I remember I was using hacks for Counter Strike and I actually say that I was actually also hacking back then but I was small and stupid and uh, <laughs> I, I always get banned so I, I got what I, what, what I deserve now I never use hacks not even like any glitches like yeah I might use the MAV elevator but I think that's that's the part of the game I don't know but I don't usually glitch hack or do anything else that uh, that exploits the game and actually I was thinking one way that uh, developers could prevent the hackers is download the, the goddamn hacks that the websites put out download premium hacks like they cost like twenty dollars for a whole life and you can like create one account pay like twenty dollars for all the hacks that's gonna be coming out <laughs> get them and then like decode them or like make make patch that it doesn't allow the hack to use and one thing actually I, I know from my friend Yara Gangsta that he plays Battlefield 3 on PC that uh, Battlefield used Punk Buster Punk Buster as I remember was like one of the freaking worst anti-cheat engines maybe you can say I remember back in COD 4 uh, like if you even if you like join sometimes you join the punk buster server there's still gonna be like a wall hacker and aimbot I mean the punk buster is just really bad and I don't like it uh, the VAC system valve anti-cheat is in my opinion is pretty good I uh, well, one of the reasons why I like it is because it, <laughs> it just bans you from the game and you have to buy the new game that's why I kinda love it plus it can actually it can actually do work uh, like it, it can get you banned I mean I was playing like on one server I think two years ago I remember I think it was Counter Strike Source and I was like uh, like you know you read the chat I was like dead and then I read uh, player uh, something something I don't remember his name was banned uh, was whack banned because of the aimbot and hacks I was like what and then, then I, I searched the player and looked at it. Back bands on status. <laughs> so, yeah, I think uh, I think uh, how should bans work? Not like banning from the server because that's bullshit. Like, if you ban from the server, he can join another one. Ban from another server, join another one. Ban from another until all the servers run out. And uh, the way you should do it is just like ban the person, block his IP. That's it. That's how it should be. Or maybe maybe block the game like doesn't let it launch or uh, like better best way is account ban because they won't get like any experience so yeah I would recommend that but anyways uh, let's talk about Wake Island because you know I love this map I rate it up to 10 and 10 already and I'm using L96 one of the one of the sexiest reloads I ever seen I mean it's, it's just like shows you the, the beauty of this rifle like 
Look at this, I'm a sexy beast. Now you reloading me. I mean, every time I reload, I look at I look at the texture and and stuff that Battlefield. I mean, Dice worked on it, and uh, I get impressed. I mean, like Battlefield 3 is uh, is actually one of the best gra graphical uh, graphics uh, out there in the market. Yeah, it might be kind of behind Crisis a bit, uh, and Crisis kind of behind of Battlefield, but I think. Uh, Battlefield 3 has the best graphics right now, in my opinion. Uh, the, the next, I think, is Crisis. Crisis has awesome graphics. I loved it. Like, uh, and the both games are kind of on par on in each other. Like, they have some differences. But on Wake Island, what I like to do is go like on the side. Uh, you know, if you if you see in the gameplay, I, I like to go on the beach side. And why I do that is because, first of all, nobody sees me and nobody like looks at the beach side and look at this Tangaska <laughs> let's destroy this bitch cuz I don't like Tangaska that, that shit is OP and uh, yeah what I was talking about is I like to flank on the sides and uh, if you're successful enough to flank on the sides means you can do so much damage like in Battlefield 3 flanking is crucial if you know how to flank in Battlefield 3 means you, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of kills plus if you play recon uh, like I sometimes do, I just play recon and uh, put my spawn beacon behind like enemy lines <laughs> and just spawn on it and keep spawning, spawning, spawning and keep killing, killing, killing and that cycle is keep repeating, you know and uh, yeah, I get ah, uh, I failed to kill that guy <laughs> but whatever one thing I would recommend using on the L95 is the Cobra, in my opinion, because it's it has a really big space between between the what is it called lines, and the lines are pretty big, and they don't disturb me. I just overall I just love Cobra sight, and I love it because it's Russian, and they, uh, anything if it's Russian, I'll pick it up and love it, even if, if it's shit, even if it's shit. Uh, to me, it's very good, cause I'm, cause it's Russian. Nah, just kidding. But if it's shit, I'm not gonna be using that much. Uh, but anyways, the commentary is almost over. Follow me on Twitter, the drive 2 hd and uh, also check out my website. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Drive 2 is turning off, and fuck the hackers.